there's a real difference between lazy stats and good stats when it comes to beating MLB. Agree. Teddy covers Steve Fezzik here on pregame.tv. And let's talk MLB pitching stats. Fez, is this a boring subject? Very boring. Let's make it interesting, exciting. Let's talk DBF, difficulty of batter's face. Now, by the end of the season, you're not going to see huge differences between pitchers in their respective leagues. There'll be some differences and some significant, but we're not going to see these monstrous difficult uh, differences between teams that have been feasting or pitchers that have been feasting on weaker lineups compared to pitchers that have been forced to play against stronger lineups. But, boy, when we're talking about, you know, 40 or 50 games into the season, this DBF stuff really can matter. It can matter, and it's better than earning a run average, so it's an improvement, but it still has shortcomings, and that's why I am I sell ERA, but I'm selling DBF as not being good enough, Teddy. Well, I mean, let's talk about it. You know, the lazy stat is, oh, pitcher X versus the opposing team. You know, and you see a lot of mainstream writers reference these type of numbers. It doesn't matter what happened when uh, anybody faced the team five years ago. I'm much more interested in pitcher X versus the current batters on that team and their track record. And, of course, DBF focuses on that. Right, but the, but the shortcoming of it, let's say early in the season, you go ahead and face Colorado and you get them in your home crib. So now the DBF will say these are – Great hitters for Colorado. Well, they're great when they get to play, you know, in the thin air of Denver. And probably the biggest example I can give of why I don't like it is A.J. Burnett of, of Pittsburgh. He gets to pitch against the Chicago lineup that's been hitting all year long with the wind blowing in, and a lot of their hitters aren't hitting. And he pitches with the wind blowing out on a hot day. He limits them completely. And the DBF would say, ah, oh, no big deal. Those guys can't hit very well. No, that's a great performance. DBF completely wrong for him in that start. Well, let's run out some, some of the pitchers that we're talking about here. Difficulty of batters faced. When we talk about the five toughest schedules that pitchers have faced. These are pitchers who, in theory, should be bet on moving forward. Jared Weaver, CeCe Sabathia, Colin McHugh, James Shields, Roberto Hernandez. You good luck with answer. Sabathia. Good luck betting on that fat tub of goo. They're saying that the stats say that these guys offer potential value potential. moving forward. Yes. That's all we're talking about here is potential. We're trying to be proactive. We're trying to give alternate approaches for folks rather than relying on traditional and or bad stats. The five easiest difficulties of batters faced thus far in the campaign. Guys who you might want to think about fading moving forward. Well, we've got two high-priced hurlers from the Nationals, Max Scherzer, Gio Gonzalez. We've got your boy, A.J. Burnett, who I like. He's made me a lot of money in recent years. Jason Hamill for the Cubs, Scott Kazmir for the A's. Those are the five pitchers who have faced the easiest DBF thus far. And I'm going to keep betting on Burnett, and so are you. <laughs> and we're going to retake the stat and throw it in the garbage can and make money on Mr. Burnett, Teddy. Fez says, ignore the DBF. I say use it as a part of your handicapping repertoire. Thanks for watching pregame.tv.